We're Mike and Ashley. We've been traveling through Southeast Asia since October of 2022 and documenting our adventures along the way. When our friends invited us to spend five weeks in Bali with them, we couldn't resist, so we hopped on a plane and headed for the Island of Gods. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you can see the most luxurious villa we have ever stayed in. It's about 7.30 in the morning and we are going downstairs to meet with a driver and we're all gonna go check out some rice fields. We couldn't be more excited. This is basically why you come to Ubud in Bali. We can't wait to show you, so let's go. Where are we? Uh, so we are at the rice terraces. I don't know which ones though. Right. Tagalog. Which one are we at? Tagalog. Tagalog. Okay. What's that? that one. So they've got a couple of packages that you can purchase. You can go on the swings, you can go in like these little love nest kind of photo areas. Looks like 300,000 person and also 700,000 person, but we're gonna do the budget option and just walk along the rice terraces and that only costs 50,000 rupiah per person. So the swing looks fun, but we're on a budget. This place has a lot of attractions that are set up for photos and photo shoots, Instagram pictures, you name it. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody here is incredibly friendly. They've got lots of energetic music playing, so it's totally a vibe. Just like the rest of Bali and Abud. I'm jungle trekking right now. You are, it says they called it rice terrace trekking. That is true, I am trekking through a rice terrace. One of the staff told us that we should go this way to see the upper terraces, but as you can probably see, it's a little treacherous, so we're gonna go back down. And I think the views are probably just as beautiful. constant yip of people on the swings in the background is probably the most mood-setting sound. <laughs> yeah. Woo girl! It's very funny. It's this very serene place and then out of nowhere you hear as they're being pushed on these massive swings. I've been summoned because we're taking a groupie, which I have to imagine is a group selfie. And if it's anything different than that, I will be extremely surprised. We're gonna go down to this lovely bridge. You've seen it, a groupie. Too. This place is very, very beautiful. It is very, very beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. I can 100% see why it's popular with people who want to take photos, videos, and Instagram. And YouTube. If you're liking this content, go ahead and drop us a thumbs up down below. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel, and we hope to show you a whole lot more of Indonesia. We're very excited. Way down is way easier. Uh-huh. We decided to cool off with some refreshing coffee before heading off to our next destination. We definitely beat the crowds. Get here early. We were here at 8, 8.15, and that's the time to be here. Any later, you'll see crowds like that. Let's go check out the waterfall. So, correction, we are actually at a water temple. I'm not sure what it's called, but we're gonna ask Ashley. So we're here at the Holy Spring. It's called Tirtha Ampul Tampak Siring. That's about all I know about this place. A 
Okay, so we got our tickets. It cost 100,000 rupiah for the both of us, so almost $7 US. That's pretty. It's my first sarong. You look lovely. Thanks. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> I feel pretty in my sarong. You look pretty in your sarong. Thanks. <laughs> so this is the sarong that you have to wear to enter the temple. There's also green sarongs that you have to change into if you want to go into the water and get purified. I may or may not go in the water. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll see how long the line is, but it looks really cool. it correctly you're supposed to go up to each one of the fountains say your prayer drink three times wash your face three times and then put your head in the fountain and then you go to the next one along the line so it's a little bit long of a process but very very important to the Balinese people and it's a really really cool thing to witness that was really cool look at that tree I know it's huge it's huge it's so pretty We are five minutes away from a jeep that is going to continue us up Mount Batur, which is a uh, active, yes, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah which so. is a volcano <laughs> in Bali. What's the name of your tour company? Mount Batur Sunrise Trekking. Okay, we're going with Mount Batur Sunrise Trekking, not at sunrise. We wanted to go up during Mount this. Mount Batur Sunrise Jeep Tour. Mount Batur Sunrise Jeep. Tour. Jeep. Mount Batur Jeep Tour. Okay. <laughs> Mount, we're figuring out the name now. Yeah. We're coming up. This is a branding, a branding meeting. Uh, so we're about to meet up with our jeep and go up the volcano. Try and beat the rain. Yeah, try and beat the rain, which may or may not happen. We'll see. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Here we go. We're pulling in. Least crazy driver. <laughs> can be, can <laughs> they be. just laugh. <laughs> Same. Same. This is our little ride. Going up Mount Batur. First volcano. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like up, just on the thing? Up on the tire? Yeah. Yeah, what this? Oh, thank you. <laughs> You guys ready? This place is crazy. It's so beautiful. I've never seen black lava rock. Mm -hmm. Black sand, black rock. Yeah, this is Volcanic something else. Rock. Yeah, volcanic ash sand rock. And then, yeah, there's our little homie. She's so sweet. She's so skinny. Yeah. A little yeah. nervous. I should have brought you some food, huh? Yeah, we should walk around with a bag of hot dogs. The landscapes at Mount Batur are unlike anything we've ever seen. The black sand and the massive lava rocks made us feel like we were on another planet. We spent a few minutes enjoying the scenery, and before we knew it, it was time for us to head back to the hotel to get some rest. We had a fantastic day on the Mount Batur Jeep Tour, and this trip piqued our love of exploring volcanoes, which you'll see more once we explore Java. It was our last day at Umala, so we headed downstairs for one last breakfast, enjoyed some coffee on our balcony, and packed our bags to head off to our final stay in Ubud, which would turn out to be the highlight of our time in Bali.
Thank you. Thank you. Adios, Wayan. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Thank you. We just got to the entrance of the place that we'll be staying for the next couple of days. It's called Stone House in Ubud, and it looks pretty cool. I'm excited. I think this is the nicest place we've ever been. Oh, by far. Yes. Oh, oh yes. coconuts. Oh, that's yes. amazing. I do love coconut. Yeah, this is original. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, here, I can hold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I can. Thank you so much. Your coconut. What's the date yeah. today, guys? Mm. Oh, it's like literally my favorite thing. We were not fancy enough for this place. Oh, wow. So fancy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> that is legitimately the fanciest <laughs> toilet I have ever been in. Holy cow. Can I mirror them both sides? They are. Oh. <laughs> so you can watch yourself. That's so funny. <laughs> Look at you this, know what this Mike. Looks like? You're probably all too young to remember that uh, I Dream of Jeannie show. Yes, I like used to love ball. that show. Hi. <laughs> <gasps> I can't even with this place. <laughs> this is the only toilet, or? I don't like know. A hole, but like for a genie yes. with a toilet. Yeah. With the help of our friends, we were fortunate enough to be invited to Stonehouse, one of the top places to stay in Bali, according to Travel and Leisure magazine. This place is a perfect oasis, away from the hustle and bustle of Abud city center. With six villas around the property, each with its own unique vibe, this place has something for everyone. We spent four days here lounging by the pool, watching the sunset over the rice fields, and hanging out with our new friends. We had the pleasure of staying in the longhouse, and the experience blew us away. The property was hands down the most luxurious place we've ever visited, and we felt a world away from our usual budget backpacker lifestyle. The villa had such a vibe with artistic touches throughout the room, a massive canopy bed, and the bathroom was like something out of a dream. Did we mention the outdoor shower? The staff was lovely and catered to our every whim. They thoughtfully prepared a full breakfast each morning, which we enjoyed on our beautiful back deck overlooking the rice fields. <laughs> yeah, this is a spread, huh? Oh my gosh. There's so much fruit. So we've got all of this fruit. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. But then look, we've got more. <laughs> this is all from last night that we didn't even touch. So like, oh my gosh. We're so stacked on fruit. We have fruit for days. Yeah. I'm so excited about the coffee too. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, it's so pretty. I didn't want to eat it. <laughs> It's so yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I think it's like homemade granola too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It made my things go. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna know what that means. Mm -mm. It's so funny. <laughs> we'll tell them the story someday. Maybe if they're a channel member. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the fruit and the bread and the coconut water come with it. You don't have to order them. You just order your main. So they had an option of eggs, house-made granola with yogurt. They had like a vegan dragon bowl and they had pancakes. One of the options for eggs was their house specialty eggs called spicy eggs. <laughs> I ordered them and she was like, oh, they're very spicy. You should watch out. And I was like, nah. I can handle spicy. The term specifically in Bali, in Balinese for spicy is lala. So I was like, lala is good. So these look really good. They're chilies, feta, spinach, and shallots. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm very excited. And we got French press Balinese coffee. This is the life. Yeah, right? <laughs> this place is amazing. This has exceeded our expectations thus far. Very excited to live it up a little bit. We're gonna enjoy our breakfast. are absolutely stunning. There is so much foliage everywhere and gorgeous little waterfalls, ponds. You got some tiny little, are those koi fish or just goldfish? I think they're like little baby carp. Little, little, so yeah. koi, right? Yeah. yeah, there's lots and lots of wildlife. There's these huge spiders that are seriously the size of my palm, which is a little bit terrifying, but I mean, they just eat the mosquitoes. So I wasn't sure when they said farm if it was going to be like 
farm animals, which I was kind of hoping for. <laughs> what is this? <sighs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not good at like identifying <laughs> vegetables. Same. Those are magnolias, I know that. Those. Marigolds, Mary damn it. <laughs> oh, this is rosemary. Or thyme. I guess I could tell this though. Mmm, that's rosemary. I don't actually like the taste of rosemary very much, but I love the way it smells. I love rosemary. Yeah. I like it on your dad's focaccia. That's really good. Unless he overdoes it, and it's not. <laughs> this is seriously like unlike any other property we've stayed at. Yesterday, uh, I walked outside. I can't remember why, uh, but there was a little frog just like perched outside of the pool. <laughs> And he was like the cutest thing. Mike tried to take a picture. Oh yeah, yeah, we can put the picture right here so you guys can see it. It's really cute. <laughs> All right, let's go see the pool. It's super nice, but also super cold, surprisingly. Mike and I were in there earlier and it was whew, a wee bit nippy. This is our beautiful longhouse, which I never want to leave. <laughs> We spent the rest of our last day at Stonehouse getting caught up on some work before heading to a local restaurant for dinner to commemorate our last night in a bud. <laughs> Such a dork. I know. It was great when my tie died. You're just not a fancy man. I will never be you. It's okay. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. You are so dirty, oh my gosh. You're just dirty. Oh my goodness, little one. Are you so dirty? This is the best dinner ever. After dinner, we returned home to the smell of freshly baked cookies, and I had to take advantage of this amazing bathtub one last time. Ugh, we don't want to leave, but well, we're going to get some breakfast. We really enjoyed our time here at Stonehouse. The staff and owners are incredibly welcoming and we couldn't imagine a better stay when visiting Ubud. We'll leave their information in the description below if you're interested. In the next episode.